Hi everyone, welcome to Palm Beach Feng Shui. I'm your fabulous Feng Shui expert, Chris Barr. And today I wanna to talk about the Feng Shui energy that is coming up for September. Because in Feng Shui, the month actually doesn't begin until the 5th, 6th, or 7th. So September's energy isn't gonna kick in for another day or two. But I wanna to talk to you about what's coming up because it's kind of like a little bit bipolar. We have some really good energy and we've got energy that's going to be really challenging. So I'm always the kind of person who likes the bad news first or the, the not so great news first. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you is about the areas that are not going to be as pleasant as we'd really like them to be. And the first one is the area of health, which is why I'm standing out in front of a hospital today. And there are two reasons, because we've got two stars that, um, that are going to be affecting our health this month. The first one sits in the west, and we have what's called the illness star there for the year. But this month, we're also going to have uh, another star that sits with the illness star that makes that energy doubly strong. So it's gonna be a month for double illness. And uh, the people most susceptible are children because the West is the area associated with children. It'll also affect technology and uh, creativity. So if you are in the field of technology, you may find that you run into more glitches this month than you normally do. You may find that your equipment doesn't operate the way that you want it to this month. And if you're the kind of creative person who does arts or writing or dance or something like that, you may find that you're just a little more run down this month, that you need to take a break. So do that. Take a break and do something else this month. Um, the other thing is if you're someone who is prone to illness, like if you have uh, chronic health problems like diabetes that's not well controlled or some other illness that, that you're constantly battling with, I'm not talking about having, um, having a long-term disease that's under good control, but somebody who's, who's chronically ill, you do not want to sleep in the west area of your home this month because that energy is so strong it will make you more run down than usual. So try and, try and stay out of that area if you're the kind of person who has a weak immune system and, and you're run down on a regular basis anyway. The next area is in the east, and the east has to do with uh, family, health, and government. Well, for this year, we've had what's called the violent star, which is also called the robbery star, sitting in the east. And we've seen the effects of that in the number of people, number of families that are uh, worried about their incomes, that have lost their jobs. The government is, the revenue is down because people are uh, abandoning their homes. And so there's not as much property tax to collect. Companies are going out of business. So there's not as much revenue being generated from taxes on businesses. And you know, California is a great example of how um, loss of money in the government sector is really affecting that particular state, but it's also affecting other states and it's affecting our country as well. It also has to do with things that we've passed like the stimulus package and even the change in healthcare because the East is all associated about health. And so this is a month where things are gonna come to a head. It's kind of like uh, the volcano is ready to erupt. So how that will play out has yet to be seen, but it's, it's all about transformation. And transformation is usually, when it comes to feng shui, is usually abrupt, it's sudden, and people don't like it. So the, the thing you need to remember as we go through September is the changes that we're going through now will usually lead to something better down the road. So it's not like you're gonna see an immediate impact um, in a positive way right now, but down the road, <clears throat> it should pay It should pay off. So we're gonna have to pay attention to that. So there should be more arguing about the health care bill. It might even be passed, but at a significant cost that people weren't realizing they were going to have to uh, expend for people to have health care across the board. So we're gonna have to pay attention to that. So let's move on to the positive areas because there are two really strong positive areas that are working for you this month. The first one is in the Northwest. And the Northwest is all about helpful people. So if you are in business for yourself, or if you've been looking for a job, now is the time to go after those clients or to go after that job that you've been looking for because people are more apt to help you this month and get that job or bring in clients. People are gonna be more receptive to your products and services. And certainly if you have your feng shui activations, that will trigger that energy even more because you really need to do something 
to trigger that energy. It just doesn't happen automatically. Usually there's something you have to do to get that energy in motion. So clients aren't gonna come to your door if you don't advertise your services, if you don't pick up the phone and say, hey, you know, how have you been? How are things going? Do you need something new? So be sure to, that you do that this month. Same with your resume. If you're looking for a job, make sure that it's up to date. Make sure that you've got good references. Call your friends. You know, now's the time to beat the bushes because people are gonna help you this month. So you've only got this short window to make sure that happens. The other area, is in the southeast and the southeast is all about money and wealth well we have what's called the windfall star sitting with the long-term abundance star in the southeast that can create uh, mental stress to some degree it may even create a sense of loneliness for some people but it also creates opportunities that come into your life out of the blue and money that comes into your life out of the blue so again, use your feng shui activations to make sure that you trigger the positive energy of those stars and maximize that energy for yourself. So this could mean that you finally get paid back that loan that you've been waiting forever to receive. It could be that uh, you get an opportunity that comes knocking on your door that you weren't expecting. Uh, it could be that you win you know, a small amount of money on the scratch off ticket. I'm not saying to play the lottery, but this is the month when something like that could pay off. So. Keep your eyes open and uh, use your feng shui activations for the positive stars. Use your feng shui remedies for the negative stars. Don't sleep in the east and don't sleep in the west areas of your home if you can avoid that. If you can't avoid that, because I know in my home we have one, uh, one room in the east that, uh, well actually we have bedrooms in the east and the west, there's no other place to sleep. We're gonna have to sleep there. So using your feng shui remedies to help mitigate that energy will definitely help. Plus, sleeping in one of your four best directions, your, either your personal success, health, relationship, or wisdom direction, will help a lot for this month. So that's it for September, and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the other side. Take care. Until then, bye.